Hi, I'm Daniel Foley from the Monday Night Life Training Center, and welcome to our daily community meditation. Where today we're talking about multiplying your ability, multiplying your ability to earn. And so this month in September of 2022, we've been focused on financial stewardship, managing and multiplying everything God has entrusted to us. And what are the ways we're going to multiply? Think about the parable of the talents. The steward went and he multiplied what was given to him. We're going to multiply our abilities, our ability to earn, to generate streams of income coming to us. And one of the best ways that I've found to do this, you can go to traditional schools, you can take classes and courses, but by far the best way that I have found to do this personally in my own life is to find people that have the skills that you want to develop and go to work for them. Go Get mentored by them, go do apprenticeships, mentorships, spend time with them. You could read their books or take their courses or classes, or you can go to work for them in some cases. You'll multiply your ability to earn. Sometimes you might have to pay to do it. Sometimes you might have to invest into it. Sometimes you might get paid to do it, but you're going to probably get paid a lower wage in the beginning as you're learning. But then as your abilities increase, your ability to, to earn will increase. And so one of the ways we begin to multiply is we've got to multiply our abilities. Become highly skilled at things. One of those things is just learning about the financial world. Learning about dividends, rates of return, interest, and insurance. Growing our financial IQ. So let's take a look at our filters today, which is going to lead us into our time of communion for today. So these filters, these are short things that I write at the top of my journal every night as a way to stay in rhythm with God, keep things top of mind, as a way to filter my decision making, help me to stay on track, give me some little nudges back in the right direction every day. And so I like to start with at the very top, what's the big picture vision? Where do I feel like God's leading us? In our program, The Abundant Life Blueprint, our vision is to have abundant life training centers all over the world, making the body of Christ healthy and beautiful. Our program, The Abundant Life Blueprint, started for me about 10 years ago. Proverbs 13, 22 just changed the course of my whole life. It says a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children. And that verse inspired me to start creating manuals and lessons and teachings and systems, blueprints for all the different areas of life. But to be honest, when I got started, I had no clue where to start. My life was kind of a mess at the at the time myself. I was running my personal training business, and the business was going through some tough times. I just had the weight and stress and pressure of things on me. And I was searching for a better way. And thankfully, God just began to show up. I began to seek him. He began to show up. He began to teach me. He began to train me. He taught me this whole new way to live. We make him the source. We make him the center of everything. We learn how to rest and trust in him. We learn how to walk in his ways. Now, it wasn't always easy all the time. Because that meant I had to unlearn my old ways, let go of some things, learn how to walk out this new way of living. It took me some years to understand how to walk in these things. I just began to document what he was taking me through, and it turned into a series of books and courses and blueprints that we have now. And now partners that we call the Abundant Life Blueprint. And the goal is to build abundant life training centers all over the world that are using these blueprints as the model for building healthy communities, communities of people who are thriving, who are working together in unity, making the body of Christ healthy and beautiful. And then this year in 2022, we've been focused on the year of the beautiful land. In the Old Testament, God told the people he was going to take them into the best and most beautiful land in the whole world. He searched it out for them personally. And it's symbolic for us of this rich inheritance that we have in Christ. Everything that we need is in there. He's taking care of everything. And he's been teaching us this year how to possess it, how to hold fast to it and not let it go. By filling up that basket of praise, staying focused on him, staying focused on the light, walking in the light continually. And then this month, we've been focused on financial stewardship, managing and multiplying everything he's entrusted to us. And then this week, as we go around the cycle of a year, think of the yearly cycle or circle of a year as a 360 degree view of who God is and all that he's done for us in Christ. And right now in September of 2022, we're in what's called the 40 days of Teshuvah. And we're getting close 
to the final 10 days of these 40 days of Teshuvah. The final 10 days are called the 10 days of awe, a time to be ramping up our reverence and awe for God. And Teshuvah, Teshuvah means to turn or to repent. In Acts chapter 3, it says that if the people would turn or repent, that God would wipe away their sins and times of refreshing would come from his presence. So this time of year, during these 40 days, it's a time of year to be making adjustments, to be making corrections. But that takes a new decision, takes some boldness and some courage and some decisiveness to walk in a new way, to put off our old ways and to learn how to do things in a new way. And we've got these final 10 days called the 10 days of all. They're the 10 days from Rosh Hashanah, also known as the Feast of Trumpets, up until Yom Kippur, which is also called the Day of Atonement. And those are considered, the Day of Atonement is considered the most holy day of the year in the Jewish culture. It was the one day of the year when the high priest could go into the Holy of Holies and make atonement for the sins of the, for the people for the year. And it's a reminder for us, we have this great high priest in Jesus who makes atonement for our sins. And that date on the Jewish calendar was like a deadline. You had to have everything righted by that date. And so our goal right now is to be making adjustments, making corrections, turning things around, making new decisions. And one of those decisions I think we need to come to. I think God wants to multiply our abilities. He's got grace and an anointing on us. It says he's, he says he's given us the ability or power to create wealth, to confirm his covenant with us, it says in Deuteronomy. He wants to multiply our abilities. And the best way i found to do that, find a mentor. Find a mentor who can teach you. A lot of people think it's going back to school, but if you find a mentor, it's going to accelerate your learning so much. You'll learn more in one year than you could learn in so many other ways. Find somebody to teach you and to mentor you. Sometimes you might even get paid to do it. Other times you might have to pay or invest time and effort into it. But let's multiply your ability. It's going to lead to being able to earn more and to invest into that. And one of the greatest things, we're going to talk about it. Uh, we're talking about it on our live Zoom. Is investing. How do we begin to multiply? We invest into God's plan for our life. And part of that is increasing our abilities. To become highly skilled at whatever God's called us to do. I've seen this in my own life. When I was in the health and fitness world, I began to invest into my ability to train people at a higher level. I began traveling all over the country to study with the best health and fitness experts in the world. And it made me very, very skilled at that. Training with these people, learning from them, investing into that. And now I begin to transition more into real estate stuff. And I've got a mentor there who's been teaching me and training me, someone who's very skilled in the area of real estate. So it's the greatest thing you can do, find a mentor. And actually, that mentor told me, he said his dad told him, he said, you want to really develop the ability to earn, go find someone who's doing what you're doing and go learn from them. Go work for them, go learn from them, get them to teach you. And most of the time, those people will be willing to teach you if you're willing to learn. Multiply your ability. So Heavenly Father, we're asking for your help. To multiply our abilities just in, in every area of life, but specifically we're focused on financial stewardship this month. Multiply our abilities to earn, to generate, and to create wealth with you. We're asking for your help with that today. And we thank you that on the night Jesus was betrayed, he took the bread and said, this is my body broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. God sent us Jesus. He didn't have to. He could have left us on our own, separated from him forever. But he chose to send Jesus. Bring us back to him. We'd all missed it. We'd all gone astray. We'd all turned to our own ways. Tried to do things our own way. And God laid upon him the sins and the iniquities of us all. And by his stripes, we've been healed. We've been restored. We've been made whole, men righteous and holy and perfect in his sight. And God raised him up from the dead. He seated him at his right hand in heavenly places. He raised us up together with him, made us sit with him, made us one with him. We've got unity with him, communion, common 
union, been made one with him. That's what we're all looking for, I think. That feeling of oneness and unity with God and with the important people in our lives. That feeling of unity. He made peace with us. He reconciled us to himself through the sacrifice of his son. And if he would do that, how would he not graciously and freely give us all things richly to enjoy? Including multiplying our abilities. So Father, I thank you for this bread. And I ask you to bless it in Jesus' name. If you have your bread, you can take your bread. Then after supper, Jesus took the cup. He said, this is the cup of the new covenant. In my blood, poured out for the forgiveness of sins for many. It's the forgiveness of sins that releases us from darkness and transfers us into the light. Into the kingdom of Jesus. And he's a great king. His blood washes us and cleanses us, gives us a fresh start today. Get to walk out this day today in partnership with God. He's given us this blood sworn oath, this covenant relationship in the blood of his son. He's with us. He's for us. He'll never leave us or forsake us. So Father, we thank you for this cup. And ask you to bless it in Jesus' name. If you have your juice, you can take your juice. All right. Let's talk about some health and fitness stuff real quick, because we usually do some health and fitness tips after our time of communion. So we've got this 10-day period coming up, starting September 25th, called the 10 Days of All. And during that time every year, something God has shown me to do is I do a Daniel fast during that time every year, eating only things that can be grown from a seed, fruits, vegetables, beans, whole grains, nuts, seeds, things like that. And drinking only water. And I do that for 10 days. And the final day is the Day of Atonement, which is a total fast on that day. And we've talked about not doing that out of your own strength and willpower, but relying on God's grace to carry you through that time and sustain it. Now, sometimes during those Daniel fasts, I'll have times where, you know, you're maybe you're eating at somebody else's house and you're not in control of what you're going to eat. What do you do during that time? So here's what I've done. I think the most important thing when it comes to everything is to walk in love. And so if someone serves me food, I'll eat it. I don't get overly worried about it. I'll eat that food. Don't go crazy on it, but I'll eat the food, be polite, walk in love. And then I just get right back on track the very next meal. I think that's what, we, what we're supposed to do. But I hope this has been helpful for you today. If you'd like to learn more about partnering with us in the Abundant Life Blueprint, you go to the Abundant Life Training Center.com.